So I broke my EVSC from my Chevy Volt by bumping into it. So I made this video to show how I tore it apart and, uh, and basically fixed it. Here's a 150 ohm resistor, the 330 ohm resistor, and I got the LED connected with a 1000 ohm resistor. So you can actually light her up and still see it. Here's a diagram for it. This is actually on the Chevy Volt forum website. Anyways, to open up the plug itself, uh, it's just got clips on it, so obviously I've had mine open before. You'll have to try a little bit harder to, to crack it open, but basically... I should really try and do this with two hands. The top piece has just got these angled clips in there that hold on to the plastic part on the top and on the bottom. So basically you just have to, to pull on it real hard and, and pop it off without snapping it off. Next thing on the inside you're going to notice is that uh, it's got four bolts holding it in place. There's one right here, should say screws, one down here, and then flip it on the other side. And you've got all four of them. So I'm just going to pull those out. Not as easy to do as you'd think one-handed. Okay, so we got two screws. Go to the other side. Three screws and the fourth screw. Once you got the four screws out, you can pull out the whole interior part to it. There may be a little bit of a glue goobs hold on to it. That's probably what made the top part so hard to, to pull off. And now you're going to slide this part out, and there's a clip on the bottom that holds the yellow handle in place. I don't know if you can get a good view of that clip back down there. And the other problem you're going to come across is this rivet right here. It goes all the way through this piece and it holds it together. I had to grind it off on this side so that I could actually pull it out. Um, and I already bought a replacement nut and bolt to throw it back in with, so that was easy enough to do. Anyways, once you pull this rivet out, now you can pull off the rest of the handle. The, uh, the tie down or clip for the handle itself is going to hang in there. So we're going to start with the handle. The handle or the, the handle, the button, is going to slide out. Not easily with one hand though. Let's see if we do this. All right, two-handed. We got the clips here on this end of the handle. Oh, there we go. Just popped it out. But again, you got clips on this piece, which you have to pry them apart so you can get that handle out. Once you do have the rivet out of here, you're going to have to pop it off the top, which should be easy to do, and then you can just slide it straight on out. And again, two hands are better than one. Shoot, I'm going to need three hands. Alright. So I got that piece out. And we just got the spring for the the handle to spring it back into motion. Now this is going to be the hardest part because once you get this inner uh, piece out you're going to have to rip it apart and once you pull it apart you're going to find out that the whole inside of this has been injected with rubber stuff and of course as you pull it apart you're going to have the cable and all this stuff inside here and it's uh, like I said it's some kind of hard rubber injected molding stuff so what I ended up doing is I cut off the cable down here at the bottom so I no longer have a uh, cable support on the end of it. And I pulled the wires uh, out of the other side. There's a tiny screw in the middle of this plug. Maybe I should light the light up. Let's see better. 
Right, not with the white wire in the way. You can barely see the screw in the middle there. But you pull that screw out and it pulls off a flat plate which holds the pins in place. Alright, once you pull out the screw in the middle of the connector, there's that small plate that'll come out and then all these pins are completely loose and will just flop all over the place. So you might want to watch which ones you pull out of where so you can put them back in the in the right spots. It's easy enough though, the ground wire is the green. It goes on the bottom pin and then you got your line one, line two. The harder ones to figure out would be this one that's on the right side is gray with a purple stripe and the little one on the other side is a black one with a purple stripe. Is, uh, these pins are soldered, so all you have to do is take a blowtorch or something with enough heat to them, melt the solder inside, tap it out, redo your wires, stick them back in, solder them down, you're good to go. Other than that, it's just to get the wiring right. Got a switch with a normally closed side to it, shorts out the 330 ohm resistor so the car only sees 150.